Hey, fourth grade French horns. I miss you. Hope everything's going well. Um, so for today's video, we're going to start out like we normally do with our mouthpiece. All right, go ahead and do some buzzing. Go ahead and do some tonguing. Ta -ta -t -t -t. Awesome. Good. Now we're going to do a good warm up um, like we did last week. All right. This is always how you should start out playing. Don't ever just jump right into a song in the book, but always start with a warm up. All right. The buzzing is part of the warm up. But then this next step is the next part of the warm-up. And it doesn't matter if you're in fourth grade or you're a professional musician. You always want to start with a warm-up. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on our low C. And we're going to um, start out with a whole note on the low C. Then we'll go to the D and then the E. So starting with the whole note, um, let's just play the note, low C, no fingers, and hold it. Ready? And... Good. We're going to start with that as a whole note, so it gets four beats, and then we're going to play four quarter notes in a row on that same note. Here we go. Ready? And. Good. So what we just played just now was this. That is a whole note, and it gets four beats. Good. And then we played this a quarter note and it gets one beat all right but we played four of them in a row so we're gonna do that now with the d we just played c so now let's move to d whole note and then four quarter notes make sure we're using our tongue ready and <laughs> sitting up nice and tall feet flat on the ground that your bell of your horn is resting right on your right leg and you're sitting straight ahead or st straight up looking straight ahead so and making sure you bring your mouthpiece to your mouth make sure we're not tilting our head at all all right your head is looking straight forward awesome all right guys so that was our warm-up now let's go to some review we're gonna play one song that we did last week so this is just review so it should be pretty simple um hopefully you've been practicing this song so that you are ready to play it together all right we're going to start at the beginning um let's look at page 8a 8a in our book look at number 1.18 mary had a cool lamb mary had a cool lamb page 8a in your book all right we're not going to air band it because this should just be review you've already done the song Hopefully a bunch of times last week. All right, so let's play straight through it. I want you to try to stay with me. All right, as we go. Here we go. From the beginning, starting on our E. One, two, ready, and. Rest. Rest. So it's important that when we are playing any kind of music, we always feel the beat. So we like feel what that beat is at all times. So when you're at home and I count off, I want you to tap your foot with me. All right, just tap your foot so that you can also work on feeling that beat. Um, okay, so that song we just played, it is not easy. So if you just now played it and you were like, struggling with a few of the notes or you hesitated or you slowed down or you had to stop it all then that's okay that's that's just fine I want you to go back to last week's video and practice those top songs a few more times all right work on them really slow airband them do them in little little chunks and then put it all together all right 
Guys, the most important thing right now is for you to go slow, take your time, and it's just all about baby steps. And we just are trying to make, the goal is just to progress, all right? And the best way to do that is just to go at your speed and to go slow, take your time, all right? Um, don't try to rush through any of this. And just because there's a new video that I've posted with the next couple songs does not mean you have to play them, all right, at the same time as I post them, all right? If you're wanting to stay with last week's stuff, that's fine, do that, that's awesome, all right? Just take your time. That's what's most important. And when you're ready and you play, can play that song we just did, Mary Had a Cool Lamb, and you played it with me and you're like, yeah, I feel good. I'm confident with it. I can keep going and I can play right with uh, how I do it. Then that's great. Then you're ready for this video. All right. But again, if not, it's okay. Go back to the other ones. It's better to be thorough. All right. And really focus on all the fundamentals, making sure we are reading these these rhythms. Don't just memorize them. Read them. Read the notes. All right. It's so important. All right. But if that was uh, not too bad and you felt good about it and you played it right with me, then you're ready to go on to this next couple songs. All right. So guys, page 8A, 1.19, Beat Street, duet. You're going to notice something. It looks weird. Beat Street. Notice right here. It doesn't have the normal staff like down here. All right, we just have a line with a rhythm. That's because in this part of the book, uh, or this song in the book, <clears throat> this is for clapping, right? It says it up above. So we are gonna clap. You don't actually have to play this on your French horn. It's not meant to be played on your French horn, number 1.19. It's meant to be clapped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with A and um, I want to, first, first time you do this, you're going to clap it with me. Clap it with me, all right? And then, after you've clapped it with me, the second time, I want you to rewind the video back, and you clap the B part, and play, or clap with me clapping the A part, all right? So that we can do it as a duet. All right, so let's give it a try. If it's your first time, clap with me. Second time, you clap the B part. Here we go. From the beginning, I'm going to count out loud. I would like you to try counting out loud with me, all right? Here we go. From the beginning. Two. Ready. And one, two, three, four. 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 Alright, awesome. That was the A part. Now, I'm going to go down to the B part. If it's your first time doing the B part, I want you to clap it with me. Alright? <clears throat> Otherwise, rewind it back and you play the A, you clap the A part, I'll clap the B part. Here we go, B part from the beginning. Two, counting and one, two, three, four. 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 Awesome. Hopefully, that was pretty cool. And hopefully you did that, like the opposite part that I played. Um, I wish that I could hear it. Because it probably was really cool. And this next one is going to be even cooler. So, number 1.20, duet like this. It's one of my favorite titles in this whole book, I think. Okay, so let's start with the A part. Notice that this is now on the staff, so you're meant to play it on your French horn. Um, but it's the exact same rhythm that you just did, right? It's the same exact rhythm. All right, let's take a quick break and let's review some rhythms. <clears throat> and then we'll play that. Um, so, first thing. This is a quarter note and it gets one beat. This is a quarter rest and it gets 
one beat. This is a half rest and it gets two beats. All right, the way you can tell a half rest from a whole rest, a half rest, do you see how it looks like Abraham Lincoln's like top hat? You could like draw his face underneath, look like his hat. So a half rest looks like a hat. This is a whole rest. If you were walking along this line, you'd fall into that hole in the ground. So a whole rest looks like a hole in the ground and it gets four beats of silence. All right, and then we've got this one. We've already done this one. That is a whole note and it gets four beats. This is a half note and it gets two beats. It can be either way, up or down, right? Doesn't matter. It's the same note, same rhythm. All right, 1.20 duet like this. This is what we're gonna do. The A part, if it's your first time playing it, play it with me. Then rewind it and you play the B part, I'll play the A part, all right? <clears throat> Let's give it a try. From the beginning, I'm gonna play the A part. Let's give it a try. Starting on our low C. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> See, you guys, the thing with the duet is it is tricky, all right? It's so tough because you have to be so independent. You can't just listen to me when you're playing a different part than I am. You can't just listen and try to play the same thing as me, right? So it's so important for us to play duets because it makes us be independent and confident about what we're, we're doing, all right? So trust yourself. You got this. All right, let's look. Uh, I'm going to play the B part now. Either you can play the B part with me or you can play the A part. Here we go, from the beginning, I'm playing the B part. Two, ready, and. a duet or at some point you do that's a good goal for maybe even the end of the week all right start out with just working on it one part at a time play the a part with me play the b part with me and then over time as you get more confident then try it as a duet all right we have one more song to play today it is number 1.21 climbing higher and we actually get to learn a new note today so we've been focused on three notes right c d and e now we're gonna add the next note up. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, you can tell, because it's right in your book. Climbing higher. So, it is an F, it says it right here. Now, notice on the musical staff, we have got those five lines. The F is gonna sit on the bottom space in the staff, right? That is where our F sits, right there, all right? Anytime you wanna play this F, that's where it's going to be in the musical staff. So notice over here, it's telling you what your fingers are going to do. You're going to follow what the top one says, not the bottom one, the top one. Okay. That's for your French horn. First valve, first valve we're going to use to play this F. All right. So let's give it a try. Let's air band it together first. Here we go. Air band it. Ready? And uh, let me get my fingers on my horn instead of me pointing to the book. Here we go. You're hopefully looking at your book at home. So, starting on the F, air band it with me. Ready? And F, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. F, 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 F. One, two, look ahead and C, D, 
E, F, rest, rest, D, E, F. Two, three, four, five, six. What does it have at the end of the song? It is a dot with a line over it, so it is a fermata. Fermata. Remember that from the last page. Okay, so how about first, let's figure out what the F sounds like. So can you start on your low C? Play your low C with me. Good, now play your D, first valve. E. Now the new note, the F, it's just one step higher than the E. There it is, right there is your, your F. All right, so let's try climbing higher. We just air banded it, so now let's try playing it from the beginning. One, two, ready, and... Two, using our tonguing and one, two, three, four. One, two. than the four beats it normally would get. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope that you have an awesome week. Happy practicing, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.